Welcome back to Urban Rush. I'm Charity of Mulligan. Fiona Forbes is here. We have a very special guest. Jason DeSalt is here, and he's brought clothing and people to wear it. That's right. It's called a fashion show. <laughs> yeah. Of Mulligan. Jason's joining us now to tell us a little bit about Deuce. How are you? Excellent. Thanks now, for having me. Now tell us about your denim because Mulligan was just firing a million questions <laughs> at you. It seems like you can't go wrong with whatever denim that you wear, whether it's dark or light or faded. Well, yeah. I mean, we're getting into uh, you know, a world right now where you can wear whatever you want. Uh, you can wear ripped jeans. You can wear faded jeans. You can wear jeans that have oil stains on them, which we do. Uh, paint splatters. Uh, whatever and so I wanted to create a line that was uh, custom so hence Deuce Custom Inc where you can come in and customize your own jeans. You're in your uh, the vast research that I did on this subject um, it says about Deuce that you sort of style started your styling after 70s street culture clothes. Yeah. What was happening in the 70s? Well I mean I was born in the 70s or the it, early 70s so I don't know too too much uh, about it other than movies and, and documentaries and, and that sort of thing but I just like the whole you know, rock and roll feel of like the tour bus and being on the tour bus with a band and partying and, you know, not necessarily worrying so much about what's going on in the world. You know, we've got so many worries now with everything that's going on in the world. It's, you know, people aren't just having as much wow. fun, I think, as they were having in the 70s. Do some fun with fashion. Well, why don't we bring out uh, our first model, uh, Jason, and you can tell us what uh, this lovely model is wearing. <laughs> I recognize this one. <laughs> You'll see in our next segment. Well, she has been on the show before. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what Mashi is wearing here is our dark denim, and I call these one Friday nights because uh, you know they're more of a dressier look. Mm -hmm. um, what, like I said, with the customization, you just turn around, sweetheart. Yes. Um, <laughs> is that as you can Did see you here the, deep, the, the <laughs> It's okay, he's allowed to. <laughs> the they're good bum jeans. They're good bum jeans, and the details here you can see um, these are actually each letter of Deuce, uh, sort of mixed around and kind of you know oh, cool. shuttled around, and you can get them in all sorts of different colors. So yeah. You can come into the store, you can get them in pink, you can get them in purple, you can get them in green, you can get them in peach, whichever you want and design yes. your own. You know, in my mind's eye, that's exactly how my ass looks. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us about the hoodies too, because the hoodies, these sure. are so beautiful, they have so much detail to, uh, in them. Are they all hand them? done? Is that the yeah, idea? Yeah, every one of them are handmade down in Gastown. Uh, and uh, oh, what I've done man. here is I wanted to, you know, is, oh, I love hoodies. I live in jeans, t-shirts and hoodies. It's what I wear, it's what I love. but. I wanted to do something a little bit more high end that people so hadn't good. done before. Yeah. So, uh, just little tiny details. You know, the, what people tell me after they've bought a Deuce hoodie or people I yeah. run into, they say, once I put it on, I can't take it off. All and right, thanks for It's Jim. just little Thank features. You. Like, okay. yeah. Fine. Thanks, honey. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Let's bring out the next model. Of course, you've got stuff for the guys. Absolutely. And this, this would be a great outfit uh, for my wonderful co host. Tell us about this look here. Sure, okay. Well, the hoodie. This is interesting because what I do with all of the clothing is I go to really weird end of the roll places out in Surrey and Richmond yeah, you did. and different places where <laughs> you can only buy that roll and then once I'm done that roll I won't duplicate the piece again. Okay. So everything is limited edition. So what he's got here is a doggy hoodie on and this was actually, I took this material from a blanket. So when you feel it, it's kind of got that fuzzy sort I'm think, of I'm seeing this, feel. I'm thinking, those guys that, that sell the big towels beside yeah. the road? Yeah, yeah exactly. That, and so I cut all the dogs out and we sewed them to the front. We also lined it in satin yeah. and then uh, took some arm pieces here to dress the it up a bit. And again, you can see the great Deuce logo on the jeans. Yeah, the jeans. This is the men's logo, which is a little different. Uh, same idea, though. We used a lot of the lettering. And again, you can get different colors. This is more of a classic look with the gold. Mm -hmm. um, these, are called the, these are called the mechanics. If you look closely here, you can see that they've got some oil stains in them. They do. Uh, a few rips and also a little bit of uh, bleach mix. Just so you uh, look like paint. you work hard. Yeah, I just, Thank yeah, you. you know, the casual not trying too hard look, you know. All right, let's bring out our next model. This is a, another sexy look. Tell us about uh, these jeans, the jeans first. These ones are called Sunday Brunch, and they're my favorite. Uh, I just love, you know, the, the whole ripped look, the, mm -hmm. again, rock star feel. You're wearing these jeans on a Sunday going to brunch. People are looking at you. They're turning around wondering who you are. And she turns around a little bit here. We can see again a different embroidery color here with the two-tone pinks. Mulligan, do you think your bum looks like that too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> again, in my mind's eye, yeah. you know. And, and this is another great hoodie This here. one here is hand-painted and it's also embroidered. So this is all embroidery work and hand-painted. And? This is a custom job we did for someone. And? You get your dice. Yes, you get some dice with it Can't as well. Can't decide what to have for brunch? Well, just give her a roll. <laughs> sure, I'll just open this up a little bit here. You've got a nice, uh, again, pink, uh, uh, beautiful. Aluga! <laughs> That's what Mulligan just said. <laughs> I'm glad this show repeats. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, Mishia's coming out again with uh, a cute and cozy looking hoodie. Cool. 
Yeah, so... Tell us about this one here. Uh, this one here, I, I, I love this one, actually. Is this, yeah. What, the clothing great. or the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> everything. Thank you. Both. Uh, so this one here, it's just, it's a summer look. It's something I wanted to play with. Again, uh, I, I want the feeling to be sort of nostalgic. Yeah. You know, I, we're all a bunch of big kids and just be having some fun with it too. And, so and very 80s with the cute. paint splatters, love it. For sure, yeah. For That's sure. awesome. All right, well, we're going to talk a little bit uh, more about the jeans themselves. This pair, yes, Mulligan, I know they're inside out. Well, then, why are they inside out? Jason, maybe you can tell us Sure. About these. Well, what I wanted to show here is just that uh, we're only making limited runs of jeans. Well, uh, this exact phase, there's only 250 of them made. Once they're gone, we're bringing out new fades. And so you said earlier at the break there, where you thought dark denim was Dude, in. If, well, to make sure. Friday, if it's a Friday night and I see someone wearing my fade, I'm going to be really serious. Go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what we want to do is we want to make sure that you know when. Every other pair of jeans that you'll ever buy, you're going to give to your little sister, you're going to give to your little brother, you're going to give to the Salvation Army, you're going to throw away. Yeah. With Deuce, I'm hoping you're not because it is a little oh, piece of Oh, you would want to. Okay, let's uh, bring out our next model here. Something else for the fellow, fellas. What do you think about this one, Molly? Are you going to rock this? I like that. Yeah, I love this. This is just, uh, it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, these are fighter jets. You can see on the front, and there's also one in the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I grabbed the material. It's actually bed sheet material, not used bed sheets, you yeah. know, but the sort of thing that you'd make for your son or right. something like that. And I cut out the fighter jets and put them on the back here. Right? So you two can be stuff. a star fighter. Yeah, well, I just wanted to do something, again, real nostalgic yeah. to it. And I put a, a camel, uh, camel in it just yeah. to sort of bring it together. He's wearing the promoter jeans. Uh, with uh, with green uh, pockets. Again, with the pockets, it's limitless what you can do uh, with the colors Ooh. of the uh, denim. And this is a really nice look. You're gonna just turn over one more time for me. On the inside, we put a mesh lining in for summer, yeah. rather than the silk. Uh, so ah, uh, smart. Yeah, Great detail. It's, uh, yeah, I wore this in LA uh, a week and a half ago, and I thought it'd be too hot, and it was it just breathed right. Throw that yeah. on for just, I just okay, told it on for a second. Just okay. for a second. I want to and see what while he's like. doing that, I'm going to tell you there's a big event happening this Thursday. The Swollen Members will be performing at the Carn. Uh, I was going to say at the Carnival, but they will be performing at the Commodore uh, for Deuce. They'll be having a fashion show as well, and we want to send you to go see Swollen Members. I have a couple of tickets in my hand right now. You can email us at urbanrush at shaw.ca, and we will send you to go to the show. And where can people find Deuce, Jason? Uh, Deuce is uh, exclusive. Exclusively available at L2 Leone's mm -hmm. and uh, our store in Gastown, and it's a it's a personal shopping experience. You have to go through a uh, photo booth, which has a crazy clown in it right now, no. so you may not want to go. But no. we'll, we'll be switching it up. Uh, so you get your photo taken and uh, and come in and have a private shopping experience. We do have a, uh, a maximum occupancy, so you know just one or two groups can come in. Very we, we close the store for them. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Thanks, and you guys. Thank you to our model.